Hey, what is up guys, the Fuzzler here. I'm going to be showing you how to fix a hard drive that doesn't work or just doesn't show up when you check on the computer here. So, um, first of all, you're going to want to have them, the hard drive plugged in that you're trying to fix. Now, before we get into this video, if you have any important files that you don't want to lose, I wouldn't suggest you use this method. This is more of like if you're extremely desperate like I was with this hard drive because you're going to lose everything that is on that hard drive. So, just a heads up. So, um, this is my regular hard drive. This is my second one that I'm going to be fixing. So, uh, yeah, what you're going to want to do is go to the Windows button, Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, and Computer Management. From here, you might have to click a little arrow here, like this, and then Disk Management will come up. Click that, let it load, and once it's done loading, you'll see all your hard drives here. So, uh, you can close out these other folders, and you'll have your, all your hard drives. So, mine was named Secondary E, so I'll show you here uh, really quickly. This is the one I was trying to fix, secondary E, and it comes up here. Whichever one you click will come up with like lines in the background, so make sure that you know which one it is. So mine in this case is disk zero because it's in the same like row, I guess you could say. So secondary disk zero. So uh, from here you could move that over to the side, click the Windows button, and type in CMD. Hover over it with the mouse, but don't click it. Then do Control Shift Enter. It'll ask you for administrative to like open the program or whatever. And from there, you're going to want to type in disk part, no spaces. And you'll get this now. It'll say your PC name. It'll say like the, the copyright and all that, the Microsoft disk part version and stuff like that. Now from here, you'll have disk part uh, on the console right here. And you're going to want to type in list space disk. So now you can see your hard drives. And for mine, it was disk zero remember so it might be different for you guys so just keep be aware of that for me it's a disk zero so I'm gonna want to type in select disk zero and it says disk zero is now selected disk and from here what I'm gonna want to do is type in list disk again so list space disk and you're gonna see that now is like a little star next to whichever one you selected before so that's how you know you have it selected and then after that just type in clean when you're ready and make sure that it's the correct hard drive because like i said before you will lose everything that is on it so type in clean and it's going to start uh loading and then after a little bit it'll say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk and from there you could type in exit and then exit out now you're going to want to go back to computer management. If you close it out previously, Windows button, Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, and Computer Management. Then from here, you're just going to want to click Storage and Disk Management again. So now your hard drive, it's going to be uh, it's going to be like a black bar on it and it's going to say unallocated. It might have already said that before or been blue. And uh, from here, what you're going to want to do is click on right click on disk zero if you do it here sometimes it doesn't work so for me it didn't work there so on this side initialize disk and uh make sure you check the disk zero the one that you reset and then click it so that it's blue and make sure you do mbr do not do gpd gpt for this uh situation make sure it's mbr and do okay so from here it's going to start to i guess like reformat and reset the entire hard drive and uh from here it'll allow you to make a new simple volume which at that point allows you to use the hard drive so just next next uh, you can assign a letter if you want just make sure it's not one you're already using uh, next and don't touch any of this just leave it as is next sorry about that finish and now it's allowing you it's like reformatting or something Yep, there you go formatting and it's gonna allow you to use the hard drive and now it's going to work just fine. As you can see, it says new volume. So uh, from here, you can close this out. And it, it's just like installed now because now it's completely reset. So you can go back to computer. And from here, you could rename the hard drive to whatever you want. So I'm going to put it as secondary again. And continue because it asks for administrative like uh, permissions or whatever. And from there, your hard drive works. So I uh, hope this helped you guys. Uh, this helped me a lot because my PVR, all the hard drives that I were using, the old one was too outdated, another one was overheating, so 
I was having issues and then the one that I originally wanted to use I couldn't use until I found how to do this and I'll leave the description I'll leave a link in the description for how I originally found I'll leave a link in the description for how I originally found this uh, to the original video. If you need any more help, uh, you can comment here or on the other dude's video. And uh, yeah, hope this helped you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and have a nice day.